I just published this file to the Figma community. Feel free to download it, link in the description below. Basically, I built out these responsive tables from these column variants, but it's all based on this idea of a single cell component. So I'm gonna show you how I did it and I hope it's helpful. I have in the past built out individual table cells like the header cell, uh, the data, data subtext, a button, and then using those cell types, I would define them in the column to create the column variants. But I think you can save yourself a step and load all of the different components into a single cell with Boolean properties. So as you can see here, if I need a header, I can turn off text, turn on header. If we need a number, we can do so. If we need a radio with a uh, text next to it, we can do that, uh, so forth and so on. So I'm gonna quickly build out the column variants Okay, so I built out a number of the different column variants. So now this can be used to create our tables. So I can just drag an instance out and we have data, we have the badge, we have the avatar, we have the avatar with text, we have uh, the checkbox, we have uh, just an empty uh, column, we have the number, we have the radio, and we have radio with text. So now you can take this and you can combine these into a table. So I'm just going to duplicate this out a few times. And this is gonna be like our just basic table. I'm gonna select everything, create an auto layout around it with Shift A, make sure this is all set to zero. And now we have our table component. I'm gonna click enter and I'm gonna make sure that this is filling container. Um, and let's see if this responds down and notice those gaps. That is because we need to set the individual cells inside of these columns to be uh, filling. And right now it's mixed, so we need it to fill container. And now as you see that um, updated here, and so now we have this table. Okay, now I built out all of the table columns. So we have the extra small we have the small, medium, and large. So if I just drag one of these out, as you can see here, I'm just gonna start duplicating things and combine this into a auto layout. Okay, so now we have our responsive table. If I uh, select all of the different columns, I can change this to medium. I can change this to small. I can change this to extra small. We can go in and we can change the actual individual columns. So we can make this a number. We could make this a radio with text, any of the conceivable options we have here. Um, so that is building out tables from a, a single cell. I'm gonna be working on a lot of different table uh, components in the future if this is something that you're interested in. Please let me know, please follow me. I'm gonna get um, pretty deep, pretty complex into different uh, table components and variants and searching and filtering and all of that. Um, lastly, wanna shout out Hero Icons. I was using their icons in this and you can go to their website, the MIT license, and you can download it. They have a Figma file.